How are you? Jolly good. How are Brilliant. you today? I'm good, yeah, despite the rain, but hi, you're in the UK, oh so. Gosh, I know, everything's <laughs> so green around me, but it's raining, I'm raining, I'm raining. Yeah. So I'm just going to dive into questions. One of the first questions that I really love that I want to start with was a lady that's in Australia asked me today, and I haven't asked you this actually. She wanted to know like what your vision is with Myel, like what's the actual vision for the company? And I thought it was a great question. Very good question. My vision is twofold really. One is to create products that get talked about and that people love and they keep buying again and again. You know, many of you will know that my background was at Virgin V and um, we have a lot of Virgin V people who've come back to us, which is fantastic. And one of the reasons I'm just getting bombarded can you bring this product back? Can you bring this product back? <laughs> Which is really exciting. So that would be one thing. The other thing though is to, and it's a bit of a corny saying and it's done and said so many times. So I need my own version of empowering women. Mm -hmm. I love working with women. I've worked with women really all my working life. And I love being part of a group. I don't like working on my own. I like working part of a team. And, you know, I consider my team the corporate team, but also the field team such as you. So I want you to be really successful. I want you to be really happy, but I want you to have a lot of fun along the way and really create memorable experiences that we can all look back in years to come and go, gosh, that was great fun. And mm. gosh, we're all still here. That would be my vision. This particular lady, she's in Australia. I know I've asked you this before. If she was to join now as a UK resident, is there any idea of when we will be going over to Australia. And she was asking, could she change everything over to Australia when it launches? Yeah, very good question. If anyone who is resident in either US or UK can always join our company. So that's a tick. In terms of when we're gonna launch in Australia, we don't know yet. And I would be misleading you if I said it's gonna be next year. I don't know, I truly don't know. At the moment, we're really focusing all our attentions on launching in America and the UK properly. And that means yeah. a lot of yes. work behind the scenes. So yeah. we want to do things properly. And after then, let's see. One of the things that can happen, and this happens you know, in any industry, people decide to change countries. So yeah, she can definitely, you know, if she suddenly moved to Spain or wherever, and we suddenly launch in there, <laughs> then she would be able to transfer her business because all she's doing is changing her address. It's, it's like yeah, yeah. if I was moving from London to Bristol, it's, it's the equivalent of yeah. that. As long as we are trading in those countries. Cool. Yeah. Cause I think I'll move soon. If this rain carries on. As <laughs> soon as she <laughs> said Spain, I was like, yeah, yeah I'm enjoying yeah. this rain. I'm there. I'm there with you. <laughs> so she asked me about the mascara and I know there's so many, like, for obvious reasons, so many people that want to know a bit more about the makeup, but yeah, if you could talk a little bit about the makeup, that would be yeah, really great. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about the mascara. Um, yeah. I, um, the, the formula that we have developed is a very multitasking formula that helps to lengthen, helps to thicken and helps to curl. So it is pretty amazing. And I did a makeup shoot with it uh, a couple of weekends ago. And the makeup artist was like, oh, this is a great mascara. I'm really happy with it. It's cool. got, uh, the brush is really important. The brush and the wiper are actually one of the most important parts of the mascara, believe it or not. I'm going to do some training on this because I am a bit of a mascara composer. Yeah, brilliant. But what it doesn't have, it doesn't have fibres in. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason purposely why it doesn't have fibres. They can cause irritation to the eyes. You know, I'm a contact lens wearer. I would, I have tried mascaras with fibres. They irritate the heck out of me. And, you know, most of us are wearing contact lenses these days, a very high percentage. So I don't want products that we launch with that are going to have, any customer reaction. I want products that are, are going to work, you know, are going to do what they say they're going to do. So if we say mm. it's going to help to lengthen, thicken and curl, it jolly well does. That's, that's the mascara. In terms of the formulas, um, you know, one of the things that I get asked is where our inspiration comes from. And, mm. you know, the inspiration for, for us in development really comes from the retail brands and also some of the boutique brands. So, 
you know, brands that really inspire me would be brands like Anastasia of Hollywood or Beverly Hills, actually. I always think it's Hollywood. It's Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Mm. Brands such as Clinique. Clinique have got great things going on at the moment. I love Urban Decay. I love some of the Too Faced products. And on skincare, skincare is, you know, a, a real mix of very interesting brands. Elemis is one of them. A brand called Emma Hardy, which is quite a boutique facialist brand. Oskia, which is another niche brand. Brand, but these these brands have very clever formulas and they're the ones that we're, we're using as our inspiration so the ones that you're likely to see on on companies such as beauty uh, bay or um sephora okay cool in terms of foundation could you is there anything you can leave about that <laughs> Um, well, we don't have we don't have a foundation for launch, and that's partly yeah. it, it's intentional. We need to get a really wide shade range together. You know, one of the things I wanted to do before we launched foundation was to really see where our customers are going to be based and where our mentors are going to be based. So now I've got a much better idea. We've actually briefed in and got two formulas that we'll be launching at some point next year. One is it's basically a concealer foundation powder all in one which is really nice. phenomenal and then the other is a more uh let's say high definition liquid foundation but we need to have a, a wide shade range for yeah. those so yeah. sometime next year okay that's all cool. i'm saying <laughs> cool well i'm gonna stop because i have got other questions is there anyone that's here live that wants to take themselves off mute and um fire away with any questions oh, <laughs> don't be shy <laughs> I was asked, um, so the, the phenomenal training that we've got, which is like one of the reasons for me why this company is yeah. amazing. Um, is Mary Smith part of the team as in staying on like long term or is she literally helping like the kickoff at the beginning? Yeah, really good question. I mean, Mari has been involved with Mayel right from the very beginning, before we even had a name, before we even had an idea of the type of products or, or you know, concept we wanted. So because she's been in right at the beginning, she has got a real passion for this and has been, oh gosh, going beyond the call of duty all the way mm. through. So yes, she is a consultant. She's not an employee, but then that's really, ha we would love her to be an employee. We would take her on tomorrow, but you know, she does a lot of consultancy with other companies, including Facebook. So that's not really yeah. where she wants to go, but I'm pretty sure that she's going to be part of our business long-term because yeah. you know, for her, it's really empowering again to be working, you know, directly with people who can be, who will be selling, um, you know the products and yeah she loves cosmetics she's a girl so she wants to stay with it <laughs> there's a cool. really good question so a question's come in can i speak about the wrinkles away yes i can <laughs> and i'm in my office today and i have my box of very lovely goodies um so this is the wrinkles away component that you may have seen i think i've shown you before Yes, it can be used on dry skin is the question. Um, and the reason for that is it's got ingredients that help, let's say, help to plump up the skin, but help, they're ingredients that are humectants, which again, helps to moisturize the skin. So, you know, one of the things with fine lines is sometimes dehydration, um, mm. sometimes sun damage, sometimes just where the collagen is not producing enough. So the skin can become a bit saggy. So anything that helps to, helps to boost collagen, helps to add moisture back to the skin, is always going to help minimize fine lines and wrinkles. So yes, it's really, really good for dry skin. I'm looking at what else I can show you that's brand new. There's nothing in there right now. One of the ones that we will be showing at some next couple of weeks is the recognition bracelet, which is going to be really oh. cool. So yeah, wow. watch out for, hopefully I'm going to have the last, the next samples for the corporate webinar. We've got obviously, going on to your point about training, by yeah. the end of June, possibly the first week of July, there will be three sets of training. 
One is Mari's training, which is around the compliance side, which we've sort of changed our focus. Mm. And one is around product training. And Sophie, you're right. We're going to be getting photos. I've actually got them. They look phenomenal. So they are mm. very nice photos that we're going to link in with the training. I'm actually going to do a video. I have a video recorded next week that's going to explain about the formulas explain all the items that it's free from which is really phenomenal so parabens free obviously sls free a couple of the products are actually gluten free which is great so we're still getting more data in but the formulas are fab and the third part is actually mentor training we've had some people really create phenomenal really step by step training to help you be focused on what to do at this stage of our pre-launch. Three different sets of training, which I don't know any company that offers that level of training this way ahead of the launch. So we want to make sure you train. And Melissa, yes, you will be able to share those (laughs) photos. Of course, that's why we're making them look lovely. They're they're not what I would call, let's say, brand photography, where you've got things going on in the background and flashes mm-hmm. and all different. They're just beautiful shots of the product and they will help explain what our brand is all about. So yeah, you'll definitely be able to share them. When people ask how natural are the products, if you could just yeah. clarify what that actually means. We, yeah, I mean, I will never say our products are natural in that way we, we don't use any known toxins that's a given just by the fact we manufacture our products here in the uk um and in mm-hmm. italy and also some in germany now um so that's some of the next year's products so you know the formulas will contain a mix of natural ingredients synthetic ingredients but the overriding reason why we choose ingredients is to give the best performance of product Mm -hmm. Um, because ultimately you know if you are looking for a hundred percent natural range you won't necessarily get the performance that you're craving and you know for us with this brand we want products that do what they say they're going to do and work Mm. and perform so that's really where we are on that one it's you know it it would be wrong to say they're hundred percent natural because they would not but you would have a mascara that would be quite smudgy probably and that's not what we want and the question from jill secret illuminator is my favorite product so (laughs) ah, secret illuminator we did (laughs) Yeah, we did this on the video shoot a couple of weeks ago and you put the product and I'm going to show it on me because I'm really knackered at the moment. You would put it right where the dark circle is. So if you put it here, what it does is it helps lift and lighten. I tend mm. to put a teeny weeny little bit here on fine lines. It just sort of um, it raises them a little bit. I always put a little bit on the corner of my eye. Again, that helps, and a little bit on the inside. Now, Mm -hmm. I personally, where I use it, is actually not what our makeup artist Lisa suggested, but I tend to put a little bit around here and a little bit here. You have to decide how you... I um, I like photos where my face is quite bleached out, and that helps to do it. But what you don't want is that, and you all have seen it sometimes, when you see people on the red carpet, and they've got this sort of dark body lovely tanned body and then yeah. this super white face so it does bleach out which suits me but it's an amazing product and you're going to love it will we get more info on prices soon yes you will i i'm going to hold i've given everyone an indication of what the price is going to be but i do want to hold off until probably august to give final pricing and the reason for that is that a lot of brands are putting price increases up at the moment And I just want to see where they're sort of heading, some of the retail brands where they're heading so that we can make sure we offer our product at a competitive price, but where we can maybe put a couple of pounds or dollars on it, that's better for you because it means you're going to earn more commission. So it's a balancing act of remaining competitive, but giving you the best price. So you can sell lots, but you can make a little bit more commission. How about, I know I've asked you this, but just again, for the purpose of everybody else, a lot of... A lot of people are interested in the cruelty-free aspect. Is there anything you want to yeah, say around that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's quite an interesting one because, you know, my background was at the body shop and then Virgin. Mm. And at the body shop, you know, back in, 
the late 80s, 90s, um, when I was there, it was, it was, you know, we were the leaders of removing animal testing in the industry. The animal mm. testing in Europe was actually banned in 1992. So I wow. guess I'm a little bit blasé about this because you cannot test mm. on animals here. Um, that's not to say things don't happen in other parts of the world, but in Europe, animal testing has been banned for a long time. But appreciate mm. that some of our mentors and customers are concerned. So for me, it's a given. There is, there is no cruelty to any animals in the manufacturing and production of our products. But what we have done and it, it will go through is we have applied to something called the Leaping Bunny, mm -hmm. um, which is PETA. And um, that is all going through at the moment. And there won't be any issues with that because cool. they know our manufacturers and we know our ingredients. Yeah. yeah and I think, I know when I asked my customers, that was something that was really important. And I think, I just think going forward, the more people are becoming educated around that topic, it's going to become more and more important. And again, that was, that was one of the big reasons why this company stood out to me as well. Yeah. I mean, to me, as I say, it's just a given. You just yeah. don't know if you manufacture here, but appreciate yeah. that people need some reassurance. So yeah, we're, we're adding a few extra, uh, I don't know, sort of applications in so that we can get all the official uh, cruelty free logos, uh, which uh, we will obviously, once we get them, we'll pop them on the website and eventually we'll put them on product. Brilliant. And it's, oh, I have another question. I'm when saying. can we expect a full compensation? You know, actually, good point. Very, very soon. Chris and I have been finalizing it this week. I would hope it will be, where are we? Might be the end of next week or maybe, but certainly by the end of June absolutely latest i mean there is a, there is a comp plan up there already mm. um and we're just making a few revisions which i think you're going to like um another question i had was uh regarding the um pre-launch bonus asking when mentors actually get paid on that yeah good point so obviously when we start trading that's when the activity part of the bonus comes into play mm -hmm. so you know, we haven't confirmed a launch date, but it's going to be sometime in October. Then we will, because of how it depends, it's a catch 22. If people do this very quickly, it's potentially they could get paid in November. But I would say it's more likely that people will get paid in their December commission check. Okay. So definitely this side of Christmas, without a doubt. That's the main thing that you guys need to know. Yeah, cool. Get paid before Christmas on it. I just think yeah. knowing, knowing how programs work, it might need a bit of cleanup. It might not just hit into October. Yeah. It will definitely hit into November, which gets paid beginning of, of December. Brilliant. Yeah, and that was just my last question about a launch date. So there's... so just don't know yet <laughs> well we sort of do but we're trying we're holding it close to our chest we've got a lot of okay. um, the, the product is all in manufacturing now which is great i feel really happy with what we're doing there um but there's always a few hiccups that will go along the way where yeah. you know, something gets produced in you know and it comes to my approval and the color might be slightly off and we have to correct it whatever it is so there's always going to be things like that um but so far, we're looking okay. But of course, we've also got the website to do, which is looking phenomenal. Oh, the website is looking amazing. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of testing mm -hmm. that we need to do to make sure that when we go live, everything is sort of looking beautiful. Yeah. Um, the video side is looking pretty darn gorgeous. I'm really excited about the video mm -hmm. side at the moment. And... Um, yeah, it's just putting all the sort of marketing materials together, looking at how your starter kits are going to be packed off. Um, we've sorted that. So, yeah, we're moving ahead. But I noticed we have four minutes until yeah. Mari's training starts, which you yeah. don't want to miss. She's been messaging me as we've been um, talking. So that is going to be a wonderful, yet again, amazing webinar. So Brilliant. Was there through. another question that came in or is it? something that we can cover another time and yes yeah, sophie of course it is a different website so what we've got at the moment oh, is right. a landing page that is not going to be our website oh, oh no no no. no if you like if you have <laughs> done now my gosh you're going to really love what we have going forward oh wow 
Yay. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I think we'll wrap it up then. Uh, like you say, three minutes and we're coming to the end of our recording. Um, so, yeah, I think we've covered loads there. Um, and I'm just more excited now. <laughs> Feeling even more excited. <laughs> Well, so I'll let you go. Thanks for inviting me and uh, yeah, thanks enjoy, for your time. Enjoy the webinar. It's going to be phenomenal. Take care. Brilliant. See All right. Bye. 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 Bye.